please, Father Mitchell, Father Gawel, and Father Jose Louis Mijibuya, the one who read the gospel, Brother Ken of La Salle and the De La Salle Brothers community, again, the members of the Bereave family of New York, New York, the faculty and staff, the board of St. Benil, relatives and friends, Rolling Hills family who are here, all of you, um, friends of Tita Pachin, mayong hapo ni Satanad. Before the Mass, I asked one of the teachers, give me a word to describe Tita Pachin, and I received many answers. One of them said, Tita Pachin is a mother to us at St. Benil. Tita Pachin is our defender. Tita Pachin, the one who always provides for the welfare of teachers. I got many answers. And indeed, Tita Pachin has been a model of faith for all of us. She embodies the Lasallian charisms of faith, zeal for um, service, and uh, um, community mission. And uh, indeed, true to the uh, vision of the Holy Founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle and St. Benil, she continued the legacy left to us by Brother Rowley. Yeah. St. Benil has been his brainchild. And when he passed away, I was one of the members of the board with uh, serving um, Ponce, then um, Doc Ating, Doc Doris, Doc Joe, uh, and many others. And we try to to find new pathways how to enhance the the different aspects of formation at Saint Benil. Same thing with La Salle and other institutions related to to the mission of the Holy Founder. On the personal note, Tita Pachin as a woman of faith, has been a friend and believer of quality education, formation, and mission. She has been very supportive of our Sacred Heart Seminary as the heart of the diocese. In fact, so many of our seminarians she supported and most of us are already priests now. To mention some names, the one who read the gospel, Father Jose Luis Medjudia, uh, City Papaching, and sponsor niya sa seminary. Same thing with Father Ernesto Salvador. In fact, Father Ernesto Salvador would call Tita Paching as his second mother, coming from boys' home. And then, may seminaria na si Kent Cassiano, and then also Father Joe Marsolano. And ang mga taga-Granada, kag-Alangilan, ng mga pari, na si Father Mitchell is Alangilan. In fact, ang Church of the Triumph of the Holy Cross has been the project of the family of Tita Paching sa mga Ramos, Alunan, Bison, and Pontebolla at the side of the Rolling Hills. It's called uh, coincidence that today is the feast of the triumph of the Holy Cross. The exaltation or the triumph of the Holy Cross has been also the triumph and exaltation of Tita Paching. Just to let you know that when I heard about the, her stay in the hospital for several weeks and I was doing the morning masses at the cathedral at 7 a.m. I was just wondering how come supposedly the mass intention is for her fast recovery 
or complete healing. But then, ang nabutang sa mas intention for the thanksgiving of patching Nico and family. You see, in spite of, of suffering, she knows how to offer prayers of thanksgiving. I confirm it because when she was out of the hospital, it was August 19, and Mrs. Dali Alvarez, the wife of Lim Ao, died. And I was the one who presided the funeral, August 19, uh, 2 p.m. at the Roman Hills Chapel. The first person to greet me, Father, happy birthday. When senior happy birthday, it was Tito Pachin. The report for when the man of birthday ko and said, ah, you are out of the hospital na. Yes. Well, you have your mass intention every morning. Yes, yes, Father, it's a prayer of thanksgiving actually. How come it must be for your complete healing? Uh, I surrendered everything to the love and mercy of the Lord. And Tao, Galing Mahiliyay, a person who has deep faith in the Lord, is a person who knows how to offer his or her total gift of self in the Lord. The second reading mentions about self-emptying of the Lord Jesus. The Greek word for that is kinosis. Jesus did his Paschal mystery with complete freedom, surrendering his total gift of self to the will of the Father. Once you are at the hands of God, you have nothing to worry, you have nothing to fear. In fact, even moments of persecution and suffering can also be moments of thanksgiving and praise for you. That's how uh, I was touched by the response of, of Tita Pachin when I asked her about that. How come that you offer prayers of thanksgiving the moment when you were staying in the hospital because she surrendered everything to the Lord. The family of the Pontevelias, Aleman, Ramos, Dizan, and all other families affiliated to you, you have that legacy of public service. You are leaders, servant leaders, and leaders can only serve worthily when you experience a kind of kenosis like the Lord, self-emptying, humility, patience, perseverance, self-denial to the extent that you annihilate yourself so that others may live. That's the meaning of kenosis. Huh? And indeed, you have the legacy in the history of the college and the island of Negros of providing better life for the children and the young. Like the founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle. So many scholarships have been provided for young people. And then, the welfare of the teachers had been secured. We are also present not just in public service and the academy, but also in terms of trade and industry. You provided venues for people to develop their skills, like the Salte, and also computer skills for for people. In terms of music, arts, and sports, you are also in the field. And you have employed thousands of people. And imagine because of livelihood that you give them, you are able to give them hope. They continue to see the bright side of life. The love that you receive from the Lord is also being shared in the form of love and love is being multiplied. Uh, that's also the meaning of our gospel reading today. As Moses lifted up the serpent, the Son of Man will be also lifted up so that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. To love means you have to 
provide venues to, li to lift up people from poverty, from ignorance, from inhumane conditions, and let them feel that they are welcome, accepted, and redeemed. Love heals. Love gives us hope. Love gives us forgiveness and above all reconciliation and unity. That's why if ever we ask for a word that can truly describe the Papaching, for sure we feel inadequate to describe about this. Second to one, there is Bakulod, I'm an outsider, I'm not from Bakulod, I'm from Victorias. Hindi sila magduha na pari, mga Bakulod nun, si Father Ruel Hundos and Father Mitchell. But I have been staying here for more than 25 years already. Now I'm 25 years as a priest. When you ask somebody, describe this person, Sometimes we cannot get it just through our human efforts. It's because somebody at the corner, at the backstage, is praying for you. She has been like a mother, interceding, praying, supporting. Her presence may be unassuming, very humble. Okay na nga siya if she is not being given the front seats in the church celebration. She would always be at the back, but uh, you can never hear from her complaining, murmuring, above all, backbiting people, even at the height of election. Wala kang igabati ng ayang nga sabat na siya kaya pangayaw man siya kaya pangaway niya ang tanan na nagahikay ka nagabash sa pamilya niya. I have been uh, observing her for that. What would be the reaction of a wife and mother if the family was at the center of controversy? But she would always be there inside the church praying and trying to be kind, to be nice to everyone and trying to help as much as she can those who are in need. That's why she values the, the charism, the lifestyle of the Holy Founder. Her faith, her sinful service, and communion and mission. She would like to accompany us in all these important events and occasions of the school activities, of the, of the events of the city and the province. She's always present in all those mga events in our parishes and institutions of the church, in the NGOs, with all the awards given to her. But now she will, she can accompany us more. Now that she is exalted, she will accompany us, uh, motivating us, praying for us, so we become closer to Jesus. Her mission became wider. This time somebody will continue to pray for the family, for the priests, the religious, and the seminarians, for vocations, for all the teachers, the children and the young, for the parents, for public officials, government employees, NGO, everywhere where the family has been involved. This funeral wake mass is our way of saying thank you to the Tapaching. The priests are aware about um, her passing to glory, and parishes are all praying for her. We pray for atonement of sins, and above all, for growth in our family tree, that the blessings of God can once again circulate among ourselves to remove all the stains of imperfections and sins and wrongdoings so that we can move on and continue our faith journey. In our journey together as a family of God, we have an intercessor, a great mother for us, the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom Tita Pachi has been so devoted. That's why her funeral mass will be at 
the Ministry of Carmel, being an OCDS, a devout tertiary Carmelite. Uh, at the same time, September 18, Monday, will be her birthday, 76. Those who remain faithful will be blessed by God with the gift of longevity of life. When you are 60, that's already bonus of God for you. Now with all the sickness spreading around us, the contamination of chemicals in our food sometimes, we easily get sick, we become weak. Rest in peace. Amen. Please stand for the Navina prayer. Yeah. Navina prayer for our beloved Mamba Dear family and friends,